Hello everyone. So today I wanted to spend some time talking about positive and negative signs in circuits. What you will find is, is that this is something that can be, it can be confusing. And I've seen a lot of students get um, confused when, it when uh, dealing with whether a current is positive or negative, and it can just, yeah, it gets confusing. So I'm gonna try to talk a little bit more about that and um, hopefully uh, bring some clarity to that. So um, let's, let's go ahead and draw a voltage source. So typically, again, like I have said in the past, um, the plus sign is essentially like your upper tank. It's the high potential energy, and the minus is the low potential energy side of the battery or the voltage source. And typically, we'll then say something like, the voltage is like five volts or something like that. Um, and so, basically, if a, um, a coulomb of charge flows from here to here, then it releases five joules of energy. An alternative way of writing this would be this. You could say... that basically you could draw we could you could redraw this and say that here we have a source with plus at the bottom there but say that it's negative five volts <laughs> and so it's kind of confusing to draw to to like specify it like that but these actually mean the same thing because negative five volts with this orientation basically means five volts with, with this flipped, with the plus on top. So both of these mean the exact same thing. Um, so that's something um, that is um, important to, to understand when it comes to dealing with signs in circuits, that you're, you're given usually like a, in, it's almost like a vector. You have a magnitude and you have a direction. <laughs> Um, but if you specify the magnitude is negative, then you know that it's actually flipped. It's a very similar thing when you're talking about current. So let's say you have a component, could be any component, and you are putting an electrical current here of, let's say, 5 amps through this component. So I mean, that's pretty clear, right? We're just saying we've got five coulombs per second or five amps flowing through this component in this direction. We have a magnitude and we have a direction. That though is also an equivalent way of saying this would be this. We could say that we have negative five amps going in the opposite direction. So if we say that the current in this direction is negative five amps, what we really mean is that it's positive five amps in this direction. So um, those are two different ways that um, you can specify the current. So when somebody's saying, oh, the current, is this value through this wire. It's always important to ask what direction and you know, how you've defined your, your arrows. Now the cool thing about circuits though, um, so when you're solving for currents and voltages, you don't know actually which direction it's gonna be. Um, and that's okay. Oftentimes what you'll do is you'll go ahead and when you're, when you're writing out a circuit, you'll just say, 
oh, you know what? I'm just going to guess that the current is in this direction um, or in a certain direction. And then when you solve for that, that current variable and it comes out negative, then it means that you just, you basically guessed wrong and that it's actually flowing the other direction. So, um, so let me give you an example here. So, um, um, actually, let me, yeah, never mind. Okay. Um, so let's say you have voltage source here. I'm just drawing kind of a random uh, circuit here. Let's say we have two voltage sources. And let's say you wanted to solve for the current flowing through this resistor. And you actually, let's say you actually don't know you don't know what direction it's going to be because you haven't solved for it yet. It's okay to go ahead and just say, give it an arrow, give it a direction, and call it a certain variable, like call it IR. And so then when you apply all your equations and all your analysis, you solve the problem as if the current is going that direction. Um, but when you actually go through your math and you discover if the answer comes out negative, then you know that it's actually flowing the other direction. So that's, um, that's kind of um, how signs work in circuits. And as we continue, I'll, I'll try to keep things um, as clear as possible when it comes to signs. And um, the next, in the next video, we'll be talking about uh, Kirchhoff's current and voltage laws, and that will definitely, you'll, you'll need to be careful with, with signs there. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Hello, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you found this content helpful, uh, would you please consider liking and subscribing to the channel? That will help other people find it. And if, if you won't do it for me, Will you do it for my cat, Miwan? Named after my favorite subatomic particle, by the way. So, um, she will be very, very upset if you do not like and subscribe. So please, um, don't, don't disappoint. How, how could you say no to this cuteness?